happen. All right, guys, and here it is for the grand finale. Got all my tools put away. That's a good sign because I believe I'm fully done. Everybody meet Mjolnir. <laughs> if you can pronounce it correctly. Meow, meow. Anyway, this is the heaviest subwoofer single setup I've ever had installed. This thing weighs close to 500 pounds easy. Port is six and a half inches wide. That thing is a monster. Here's my bank. Everything is hooked, hooked up nice and snug. Let's take a look at this bad boy in here. The sleeping giant. Huge. Wood grain, I triple stained this box and then I I put a two coats of clear coat on it and I don't know why it looked too nice. I wanted it to have a rustic look so I scuffed it up and I sanded down the clear coat and looks a little tarnished it might not look pretty to some people but i really wanted to go for an antique toy box or an antique chest look and for what i was looking for i got exactly what i wanted i plan on upgrading my interior to have a more wood grain look to it so yeah with the dynamat the acoustics of this vehicle has changed dramatically and here's how i have it all wired up in the back now, I apologize for this cluster F word of madness right here. I'm not happy with how this is. All these wires were originally made for a different setup, different lengths, different location of the amp. And because of that, I'm debating getting rid of those fuse distribution blocks altogether and just running my positive straight from there to there there's probably maybe eight inches of space and saving myself a whole bunch of wiring a whole bunch of clutter i'm not sure if this is safe should i still keep a fuse distribution block let me know like you know put in the comments you know let me know what you think i would i would love to have uh, an expert take on it making sure this don't touch nothing metal because that's just scaring the hell out of me um high zamp over there wiring ain't the prettiest i thought about putting a beauty plate back here but i don't have the space so keeping the seats up is going to be pretty much what i'm going to do I'm, this really isn't here for show and glitz and glamour um yeah interior is still the same still got my pioneer dmh 76 necks it's nice my voltage stays at 14.9, never never drops when I'm driving. You can see at rest it's at 14.7. It's pretty nice. I still have my jail audio components in the front and in the rear. I got, it's kind of a hybrid now. I got C5 component sets in the front with the ZR woofer in the front. And in the back I got the ZR component sets with the C5 woofers in the back. And the reason being, them ZRs are so nice. I'd rather have them on the front stage than the rear stage, and it doesn't do much difference when you swap them out. It sounds just a little bit richer. All the wiring was upgraded. Um, I had some corrosion connection issues with the previous installer's work, so I just did it all myself, and it sounds a lot better. I am very happy. My man Elzy helped me cut the pieces, but I assembled this box 100% myself. And uh, I am very, very impressed with the results. I'm waiting to get my buddy's de uh, decibel meter later tonight so we can start seeing what the peak frequencies are officially. But opinions on my system right now are all the bass notes hit like a xylophone up and down my back. It sounds really nice. It feels really good. Uh, do I think it sounds louder? I definitely notice a lot more wind in my car than I used to have. Lots more wind. However, do I think I'm louder? I'm not sure. I know all the other notes that I um, that wasn't hitting peak frequencies before hit just as intense as what I think used to be my peak frequency, which was 36 hertz with the vehicle's resonance. Um, 
but now I don't know. I need the meter to verify. I think I might be hitting 150 flat. I might still be under 149. I don't know. Uh, we will see. But this is the new setup. The box fits like a charm. It's about 500 pounds, 450, 500 pounds with the amps and everything factored in. There's, there's a lot of weight in this. Uh, I had spongy shocks and struts. They don't move at all now. I had a whole cup of orange juice that I had on the back seat of the floor. And it never spilt and I was doing like 60 on the highway. So let me put this back up here. Closes nice. My four out wiring. I got seven, two, three hundred and fifty amp fuses for a total of seven hundred amps supporting that wire. I got another exact same fuse underneath the hood with another seven hundred watts combined or seven hundred amps combined. Fusing the box, fusing the wire. You know, so one before the firewall and one after the firewall. Let's close this bad boy up. In my next video, I'm going to, with the help of the mini SPL meter, I'm going to tune this bad boy. The box was rated for 25 hertz on the low end and 50 hertz on the high end. So we are going to set the crossovers with a multimeter and we're going to find our peak frequency with the mini SPL meter. So that'll be part four. In the meantime, take a look at your boy French. Hi guys, I'm a very happy man. See you guys in the next video.